Hey, what's up guys? I'm Anush Patel from AndroidRoots.com. We're going to go ahead and take a look at Omni ROM for the Galaxy S3. And it's going to be supporting the AT&T Cricket International Galaxy S3 LTE variant, Metro Sprint, T-Mobile, US Seller, and even the Verizon variant. So basically every single variant, um, this is going to be supporting for the Galaxy S3. I'll have a link down below too if you're interested in flashing it for your very own Galaxy S3. Uh, but for two reasons why I really like this ROM. One, Omni ROM is made by Chainfire, and two, it comes with multi-window on an AOSP device. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at multi-window right away. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up two applications. Uh, let's do Calendar right there and then also Google Keep. Uh, I'm going to go hold down on my Recents and then tap on Calendar, tap on Put Aside, and it's say it might force close. Don't worry about that. Um, it'll open up uh, just a little bit. So it's a little bit buggy, but you can make it work. Um, just a little bit tweaking here and there, you'll be good to go. Um, but as you can see now, I can go ahead and use both at the exact same time. So I can go ahead and add a quick note if I want. Go and type that down and tap on Back, and there I am. Um, both options, as you can see, both options work just fine. So everything works just great. Um, I can go and go to day right there, and boom, I am there. Um, so everything does work really well, um, and it works with landscape too. So that's really nice too. And there's no gap in between. It looks like it, that's been fixed from the previous one. Um, so that's really nice too. Um, you also have another option, which is um, Omni Switch. So I'm gonna go and enable this. So I'm gonna go and turn this on. Um, tap on Start on Boot, um, and it, sh it you actually need a reboot. Um, let me go and see if that works. Yeah, it doesn't work. I'm gonna go and reboot my phone and be right back. Okay, so with Omni Switch, you have a little option that you can go ahead and obviously uh, change the settings for, but I put it on my left side of the screen. If you go and swipe over from the left side, you have all these options for, uh, you know, recents, or no, there's no recent apps, of course, but you have this uh, home settings, uh, recents, or yeah, your recents right there. You also have all these favorites I went ahead and set on. Um, so you have a little option right there for Omni Switch. Of course, you don't have to use it. You can enable it if you want. It is an option. You can go swipe over, and you have your home button right there. You can go home if you'd like. Um, so on the Play Store, if I want to go to my favorites, let's say uh, camera, I can go ahead and easily just launch it from there. Um, so you guys get the idea. And also camera's working. So while we're here, the camera is working just great. Um, both recording and pictures work really well. Um, just as good as they always did. Um, as you can see, there's very little lag in between each. Um, so that's really nice too. Um, and also the rest of the options are within settings. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so you have uh, a couple options right here. One I haven't really seen is Galaxy S3 settings. Um, so you have screen calibration right there, sensors, haptic feedback, which is disabled for some reason. Maybe it's because it's disabled within settings. Um, and you also have sound. Um, I would recommend you go ahead and enable this if you have a hard time hearing people on the other end of a phone call. Uh, this could really help you out uh, understanding them. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, let's go ahead and dive back into settings. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the other options. So you have bars right here. Um, so brightness controls, so you can go ahead and adjust uh, your brightness within the status bar. Let me go and try to do that. Yes, there we go. So it dims, and you can go and make it brighter right there. A notification count, clock and date, nothing too different right there. Um, you also have activity indicators. So by the signal bar, if you did have a SIM card in, um, it will actually go and uh, show you two arrows right there and show you that some activity is happening within your signals right there. Um, you also have menus right here, so you have mobile data, screenshot, and all that. I want to enable all of them, and now if I go and hold it down, you have options for turning on mobile data or turning it off. A uh, screenshot, I'm just going to give it a few seconds, and also screen recording. So screen recording also does happen. Um, it should be happening. Let's see if it, uh, let's go ahead and try it again. Uh, screen record. And there we go. So screen is being recorded now. So you can go ahead and move around everywhere and the screen will start to be recording. Um, you can just stop that and I'll save within somewhere. I can't recall uh, exactly, but you can find it within file manager pretty easily. Uh, but I'll save there. I think it's under video folder or something like that um, right there. Um, so that's nice right there. And you also have active display right here. So it'll give you all the Moto X features. And since the Samsung Galaxy S3 does have an AMOLED LED display, um, you'll, you'll, you won't waste too much battery if you do get a notification and enable active display. And also you have all clear all buttons and all the other options within uh, the uh, recent options. 
Um, it might not show up just because I have this Omni switch enabled, but if you did have it disabled, it would show up uh, within uh, the regular look of it um, right there. Um, so that is Omni ROM for the Galaxy S3 AT&T Cricket International Galaxy S3 uh, LTE variant, Metro Sprint, T-Mobile, USL, and Verizon. If you guys did enjoy this ROM review, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom hand corner right there. Subscribe down below and link down below in the video description is uh, where you can go ahead and download Omni ROM for your very own Galaxy S3. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Plus. Those, th those three places are also excellent places to get in contact with me if you have a question about this ROM, routing, or really anything at all, uh, which is also located down below in the video description. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.